Might be some DNA destruction, though. Mm. Cause I'm DNA. Oi. 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 It will kill. It will kill. This is uh, mm. coming from DailyMail.co.uk. The headline is a quote. You can take someone's DNA and design a weapon that can kill them. End quote. Oh. House intelligence. Oh, is this on the Alex Jones Infowars no, website? No, DailyMail.co.uk and Axios uh-huh. have carried it too. Uh, yeah, you can take someone's DNA and design a weapon that can kill them. House Intelligence Committee member warns people not to share health data with sites like 23andMe because it can oh. be used to program new bioweapons to target them. Interesting how the House Intel Committee... <laughs> Sounds like an episode of Canary Cry News Talk from about five years ago. Yeah, I mean, we, we Weird. weren't alone in, in the sense of how but that yes, works. It's, uh, it's one of the things we talked about extensively about these groups, the 23andMe's and these other data or DNA collection companies. Hmm. And uh, not just that the data was being sold. I think some of that came out a couple of years ago and people were going, ah, no, but that, hey, what happens with that information is really what's concerning here. And here we are, mm-hmm. 2022, I don't know, maybe four years after we talked about it, maybe even more five. Uh, here we are. We got the some House, House <laughs> Intel <laughs> Committee. Saying it. it is the official <laughs> intelligence committee of the House of Representatives uh-huh. of the United States of America. Yeah. Saying the same things that we said five years ago. Well, the bullet points cool. here are U.S. Rep. Jason Crow warned that bioweapons are being made that use and use a target's DNA to only kill that person during the Aspen mm. Security Forum on Friday. The congressman Great. said the development of the weapons is worrisome given the popularity of DNA testing services like 23andMe. 23andMe has stated that it does not sell off customers' private information. Burger gets stolen. Wow. But the company is one of many that has provided information to police. In 2019, it was found that several Russian and Chinese labs were processing DNA tests for Americans through Medicare and Medicaid. Mm -hmm. Officials warned the bioweapons could also target animals and disrupt food supplies around the globe. Oh, Mm. wow. Isn't that nice? Mm. Uh Again, I thought it was interesting. You know, if it's one thing to see it on Daily Mail and it's like, did this really happen? But to see it also reported on Axios, I was like, wow, okay, well, oh, yeah. this is legit, legit stuff going on here. And we're looking at the Axios here. Biological weapon could target DNA food supply, two U.S. lawmakers say. So it's two of them, not just one. And it says biological oh and chemical weapons, which, by the way, real quick, you know, we ended this the monkeypox section a moment ago, but that was the whole Bill Gates germ game thesis was that a bioterrorist attack you know because monkeypox is eradicated or or smallpox is eradicated so whatever gets released would be some kind of biological weapon that was the whole thesis so interesting that we're here in not even our thesis that was bill gates 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 thesis thesis. right right yeah uh so yes uh biological and chemical weapons have the potential to pose a national security threat to the u.s that the country is not equipped to handle The panel of lawmakers and military leaders told an audience at the Aspen Security Forum on Friday. Why it matters, COVID-19 pandemic underscored how globally debilitating and dangerous pathogens uh, could be if deliberately engineered and released. Wait, what? Is Axios saying that COVID-19 was deliberately engineered? Huh. Wait, I didn't hear that. What did you say? This is Axios again. It goes into the little thing and then it said why it matters. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored how globally debilitating and dangerous uh, dangerous pathogens could be if deliberately engineered and released. What? Am I losing my mind here? Is Axios saying Wait, that yeah, COVID is that deliberately didn't get engineered? Catch. Yeah, well, for some reason, that, that didn't, I didn't catch that either. Let's just do it one more time, nice and slow. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored how globally debilitating and dangerous pathogens could be if deliberately engineered and released and what is this outlet axios i've never seen axios 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 is saying that covid was engineered and released that's very unusual usually axios takes the side of 
like but i don't i don't think there is any other way for that to, to be no way right yeah they're that, saying I mean, that's what they're saying they're just straight up saying it yeah deliberately engineered and released huh is axios gonna get kicked off of youtube i don't know in may former federal hmm. officials warned that the u.s is not prepared for the possibility of germ warfare so we we're kind of talking about uh the big picture army general richard clark the commander of u.s special operations command said chemical weapons such as chlorine oh great i i i stewed in chlorine my entire youth as a hmm. swimmer and mustard gas oh I no hot dogs too. i've been taking <laughs> mustard baths for years <laughs> has been used in 2014 to 2016 by actors such as ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Clark said non-state actors such as ISIS or Al-Qaeda continue to look to these weapons because they instill fear. That's a quote. They instill fear. As such, it is necessary to develop capabilities to protect U.S. troops that are in proximity, which the U.S. is working to do. Clark said Clark added that state actors like Russia could also pose a threat. Quote, Russia is willing to use those against political opponents. They're willing to use them on their own soil. But then to go in on the soil of a NATO ally in the UK and use those, end quote, Clark said, alluding to the nerve agent attack against British resident Sergei Skripal and his mm. daughter, Yulia, in 2018. British resident. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> quote, yeah. as we go into the future. British resident and Russian. Russian yeah. A de de defector right right quote as we go into the future we have to be prepared for that eventuality and i don't think we talk about it as much as we should and look for methods to continue to combat it what they're saying quote there are now weapons under development and developed that are designed to target specific people rep jason crow democrat for colorado a member of the house committee of armed services and house permanent select committee of intelligence told the audience whoa Big time. That's a <laughs> wow. Democrat so you have Colorado, huh? The House, a Democrat, a Democrat mm -hmm. in the House of Representatives yeah. on the Intel Committee yeah. is uh, is being reported by Axios to be talking about you know giving your DNA to companies because they could be taken by foreign actors and used to assassinate you basically. Yeah. And in the same breath axios is also saying COVID 19 <laughs> was engineered and deliberately released and 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 yeah. i mean and you can and you look somebody was saying maybe it was just clumsily written and that's possible um but you notice how careful they are in uh the the rhetoric that they're they uh, reported on the novacek killing yeah so that Novacek killing, I mean, they know what they're writing and they do it very particularly because, yes, uh, Russia did kill or attempt to kill um, someone in Britain using uh, a toxic nerve agent, but they were called a British resident in this article and not like a, a Russian, Russian spy, right, right, which is right. what he was. He was, he was a Russian yeah, defective spy. It shows spy. that they are being careful with their words, which says yeah. even more so they about are this, paying uh, attention. Yeah. this little quote at the top. Yeah. But they do have the, the full quote from um, rep Jason Crow. I mean, we already summarized it, but if, I guess we, do we have time? Not really, but we, we can run through it real quick. That's uh, his, the quote is, that's what this is, where you can actually take someone's DNA, you know, their medical profile, and you can target a biological weapon that will kill that person or take them off the battlefield or make them inoperable, uh, Crow said. Mm -hmm. Quote, you can't have a discussion about this without talking about privacy in commercial data and the protection of commercial data, because expectations of privacy have degraded over the last 20 years. Oh my gosh, are we going to be Democrats by the end of this, Basil? Quote, <laughs> no, the Democrats are going to be us. <laughs> People will very rapidly spit into a cup and send it to 23andMe and get really interesting data about their background. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Their DNA is now owned by a private company. Oh my gosh. Uh, it can be sold off with very little intellectual property protection or privacy protection. And we don't have legal and regulatory regimes that deal with that. Quote. Cool, cool, cool. And we get kicked off. I YouTube. know. This is, this is awesome. ridiculous. Yeah. Quote. That data is actually going to be procured and collected by our adversaries for the development mm -hmm. of these systems, Crow warned. So, yeah. Uh, wow, this is, <laughs> this is the most canary cry 
Mm-hmm. Democrat we've had since we yeah. st- started the show. Maybe but, he uh, listens. Maybe he listens to the show. <laughs> Rep Jason Crow. This is why we're nonpartisan folks. Exactly. We need, exactly. We need the why. Democrats to go to the House Intel Committee. Yeah. Well. And, uh, just repeat our stuff. Well, that's being um, being neutral allows us to sort of agree or disagree with whatever point is being made without yeah. having to, you know, uh, uh, well, good for Mr. Crow. compromise to stay loyal to a party. So that's that's <laughs> the benefit. 